Lecture by CYC Chen Cynthia. You can pause anytime you need. 你可以随时按下暂停键。Make sure have your tools ready. Okay, so everyone, today we are going to learn about the shadow. So before we start to do the shadow, we have to do the object. So we need to have the objects. And the lights, then we got the shadow. Okay, so I need to have your eraser and the pencils ready. All right. So first of all, you need to have a piece of paper. Then I use my pencil to cut the pens. Another、uh, pencil to cut the paper in half. Use the pencil to separate the paper in half. You don't need to have to use the ruler. See, even my line is a little bit wave. They are not perfect, but I can tell that's a half half, right? Not a big deal. Just make sure it looks like a line, okay? Not to bump it. A little bit wave is okay. All right. So we are going to create three objects on our paper. Then we can practice. Ties for the shadow. All right. So I'm going to do the plant for today. All right. It's more matched to the season we are in, so I think that's more good for us to practice for today. All right. So we start from the middle. Okay. Remember, we always start with the layout. So I add in the box on top of the paper, not below. Below, I'm going to add in the shadow. So keep all the object on top of the center line. Okay. So that's my first object is about this big. Okay. And the second one I want to have is a little bit smaller. I want them looks different. And the third one is a little bit wider because I have a little bit more space. Lower than the first one. This is my three object. Okay, so the pencil line is super super light. You don't have to make it too dark. Okay, so we have one, two, three, and they are in different sizes. Okay, but they all on the middle line we add at the beginning of the class. Okay, they all on top of it. Nothing below. Now I want to add in three plants inside the box, and we are going to make the first one all together. Then you are going to create the other two by yourself. All right. So I'm going to zoom in my paper so you can see more clear. Okay, I think that's good enough. All right, that's the middle. I'm going to start with the middle one. So. I need to have the pop at the bottom, and I think that's something on top of the leaf, small trees, flower, even the fruit. All right. So let me add in the pop. So I want to look, make the pop looks like the cylinder, but with the angle so from here, diagonal lines. I keep it on the same angle and the same height. Okay, then close the top. Okay, so I want to have the double. So make the pot looks even stronger. All right, then I have to make the curve at the bottom so it looks like three D. Then I'm going to add in three big leaf on the top. So I'm going to have one curve line. Ties the stem to the center of the pot. Third, a second one, and the third one. Right, one, two, three. So these three leaves just like the heart shape. See, I add in the half, and back to the middle. Stop. One more time. Curve down and stop. The stem is not going to just like a string, so double line on the bottom, but keep the top like this, just one single, 
and adding the pattern of the leaf. Right, so that's my first one. So the second one is I have no more room, right? I don't have enough room here. So I'm going to make the leaf behind. Behind the first one. Right here. Same thing, I finished the leaf, making the stem double, adding the pattern of the leaf. Okay, and the last one a little bit and the last one looks smaller mm, double check mark like the leaf pad okay so i got my first one if you want to decorate the pop it's okay you can add in the decoration if you want to i'm cool with that so don't limit yourself always be creative you don't have to do exactly what i'm doing all right so now is your time to start to do your the other two plants. They could be flowers, they could be fruit, they could be just like the leaf I add. Okay, so any any plants, they are not moving. Okay, they need the water. Any plants you want. Okay, now take your time to start to do your first two plants
when you're done with your three objects, now it's time for us to start to outline our joint. Okay, so we need to have the fine marker. Looks like this, a little bit uh, pointed, not too fat, but a little bit thicker. Okay, this is a very common marker you use at home. And we need to have a sharp one, the small ultra fine marker. It's very pointed, like the needle, right? If you don't have this type of the markers, it's okay. You can use the pencil crayon, but just make sure they are sharp enough. So pencil crayon is helping you to trace somewhere small. Okay, so let me show you the sample. Okay, I want to see the line weight for every picture you have. Okay, so we use the fine marker, the thicker marker, to trace somewhere big, like the leaf. Okay, something important and something big. Okay, something important and something big. And how about the pattern inside the leaf? They are not the object, right? They are the pattern and they are also something small. So I'm gonna use the pointing marker to trace the pattern, okay? And something small. So that's a line weight. Line weight shows what is the main part and what is the support, like the decorations, okay? So the leaf are the main part the main object and the pattern of the leaf they are the decorations okay so how about the pot we trace the part okay with the fine marker they are something big right we trace the pot with the fine marker and they are not just something big they are something important they are the main object now how about the pattern how about the decoration on top yeah, we are using the thin marker because they are something small and they are just the decoration, right? We don't want to make everything looks important or everything looks not important, right? We need to have a focal point to telling people what is the main subject of your joint. Okay, so now I think you got what we are doing now. Okay, so start to trace. After we finish tracing, we are going to have our three minutes break time. After three minutes break time, we are coming back to learn how to add in the shadow. Okay, so trace with the line weight, with the fine marker and the thin marker, either pencil crayon. Okay, then after the middle break, come back we were going to learn the shadow okay now you can begin to trace
crazy and make sure you are not missing anything then grab your erasers to remove all the pencil like that we don't need it anymore like the box okay and the pencil like that you don't cover them properly you have to clean them up okay so take your time to clean out your pencil line and feel free if you want to add something small like the small background the butterfly or whatever you want or anything that you think that can complete your drawing or make your drawing looks even better so feel free to add in your background so now we are going to have our three minutes break time now is our three minutes water break okay so don't forget to come in back after three minutes during the water break you can go to the washroom drinking some water and doing some exercise and you also can complete the work that you haven't done yet and don't forget to come back when the timer is end Okay, so that's get ready to wrap up whatever you are doing right now. The class will start soon. Time is up. Come back to the class. Okay, so we are come back everyone. So before we learn how to make in the shadow, I want to have a small practice, okay? So I want to grab a piece of paper so you can have something done on top already. It doesn't have to be the brand new paper. So any piece of paper so that can help you to draw something. Just need a small uh, space to do it. You don't have to give me a new paper, all right? So anything, so grab, take your time to grab it. Okay, so let me use my color marker so it's easier to present. All right, so if I have a cube, so it will look like a square, right? So how does the shadow will look like? So that's my object. Let me color it. So what does the shadow will look like? Like a triangle? 
it doesn't look right, right? Any part, it will be the same shape. But sometimes it will look shorter or longer. Okay, but they have to be the same shape. If you got the square, you got the square or rectangle shadow. It won't be the heart shape or circle or even triangle, right? It will be the similar. So that's the shadow. All right. So how about if I have a start? What does the shadow looks like for the start? Like the diamonds? Like the heart? No, right? It will look like the start upside down. So the shadow basically just like the mirror, right? So we are going to have the start. See, two foot, two foot, touch, 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 arms, arms, and the head on the top. It will look like the start, nothing else. Sometimes it will look like a big, fat start on the shadow or the long start shadow. But they are just like the start, right? Just like when you walk in on the street and there is the sun heating on you. So you will see there is a shadow under your foot, right? So what does the shadow look like? Like a starfish? No, it looks just like you. But sometimes the shadow will look taller or shorter, right? But the gen uh, but the shape look just like a human, like who you are, too. like the mirror. Okay, so how about I have a smile face? It's a happy face. He's smiling. Okay, and he has the solid color inside. So which I'm going to color it. Shadow will look like. Okay. So that's the shadow. Does the shadow will going to have the circle, right? That's easy. But does the shadow will going to have a face on it? Okay. So remind yourself one more time. When you walking on a street, there is a sun hitting on you, and your shadow just right under your foot, right? Does the shadow got the eye, eyebrow, and the mouth? No, you don't see. The shadow only presents the shape. You won't see the nails on your shadow, right? You won't see the eye. Mouse, even the nose on your shadow, right? So the shadow only presents the shape of the object, not the part of the object. Okay, so take your paper away. All right, so that's be the practice here. The first one we are going to do is all together with our first one because the first one should be the same. Okay, so the first one. Pop, the, what does the pop looks like? So I need to drop the light to help me. The pop is like this width. So my shadow is not going to be smaller. And it start from here and stop, stop because it's going out. It's going out, right? So I'm going to have going them out. Do I have nothing on top? I should have something on top, right? So how many? Three. And check the direction. The first one is going to the left. So my first one is going to the left as well. And the middle one is going to the left a little bit, but more like the center. And the last one is shorter, it's going to the right. And it looks like the hub shape, right? It looks like the hub shape. And this one is bending to the right, so I'm going to bend this to the right. Last one is going to the right direction, so I'm going to do the on the right direction. Okay, so as I mentioned, mention what? The shadow doesn't have the eye, eyebrow, and the nose. So which means I'm not going to add in the pattern on the pop. 
I go, I'm not going to add in the pattern of the leaf on the shadow. Okay, so the shadow will going to be dark. The shadow more close to the object will look darker. So I'm going to make shading them a little bit darker. Then getting brighter. Nothing in it. I know there's a pattern, but we don't see the pattern inside the shadow. There are nothing. Okay, even brighter. So you have to reduce your hand brushes to control your hand. And I know there are separate the pot and the leaf are separate, but in the shadow you can tell they are connected. See, there is no lines, so it's the same. The stem and the leaf are connected, and the leaf are different. But on the shadow, they are linked all together. Okay, there's no outline for the shadow. Okay, there's no outline on the shadow. So see, I'm going to shade it in. So I have to be patient, right? That's kind of lots of work. But I'm not rushing. I just try to make the thing looks good. Okay, see, that's the shadow. So that's C. I got the pop. Looks like the same, right? The same shape. And the leaf, I got big small, big, medium, small, and they go, are going to the right direction, okay, so that is the shadow, so let me remove the line that we don't need it, okay, I just add in these two lines to help me, how big I should do for my shadow, all right, so which means, you are going to do your the other two shadow by yourself, so I know you really learn something, okay? And we are doing two different plans, so you are not going to have the same thing as I do. So there's no reason you copy my shadow from the video, okay? So now you can start to practice how to create the shadow for the other two plants you have on your paper okay now you can begin They are connected to each other. They are next beside to each other. So for the shadow, they are going to like gluing together to become one piece. Okay, even my last one, the same. They are touched to each other. Even I have something at the front, something at the back. But on the shadow, they will just like the same. They are nothing in front or behind. They are 2D. Okay, so let's double check. So when you finish your joints, feel free, you can color your plants with the colors. But don't forget, we are going to color them in color only and color blending. No flat color for class B, okay? All the color has to look like the sketch with the colors, okay? So... Remember, you are going to color them. Looks like the color volume looks like that. One single color. Create dark, medium, and light. Okay, let me zoom in so you don't have excuse that you say I can see it. Now you can see it. All right. So dark, medium, light. Either dark, medium, light. Then finding your second color to color dark, medium, and light, and mixing them and blending them together. All right, now finish the shadow and grab your pencil crayons and start to color your plants. Take your 
time to complete all the shading, the shadows, and your coloring. All right, so take your time, don't rush. Good arts always takes time, okay? So hopefully you remember how to add in the shadow for your object. So I hope in the future, most of the object you have to have the shadow under it. All right, so keep your mind. We learn the shadow, then use the shadow. Okay, so hopefully I will see you all soon. When you complete your drawing, sign the name and write down the date. 完成画作之后，签下你的名字，跟写上日期。Don't forget to take a photo of your drawing and send it to us. 不要忘记帮你的作品拍上照片，寄给我们哦。And don't forget to clean out the table before you go. 不要忘记清洁你的桌子哦。Bye bye. See you next time.